Howdy. Fizz.org. That's some four hours old or something. Theoretical physicists argue that black holes admit warty structures. Hmm. What a nice picture. A sketch of a black hole endowed with multiple vortices. Colors denote the orientation with the associated true. Black holes are astronomical objects with extremely strong gravitational pulls from which not even light can escape. Yes, and I made a video nine, eight months ago. Nobody liked it. <laughs> Some have seen it. 75,000 bright black holes is just nonsense. Some black holes are anything but black. We found more than 75,000 of the brightest ones. But let's go back to the article. Yeah, I will put a link below. You can check it out the video. Well, the idea of bodies that would trap light has been around since the 18th century. The first direct observation of black holes took place in 2015. <laughs> since then, physicists have conducted countless theoretical and experimental studies aimed at the better understanding these fascinating cosmological objects. This had led to many discoveries and theories about the unique characteristics, properties and dynamics of black holes. Researchers at Ludwig Maximilians Universität and Max Planck Institute for Physics have recently carried out a theoretical study exploring the possible existence of vortices in black holes. The, their paper published in Physical Review later shows that black holes should theoretically be able to admit vortice structures. Recently, a new quantum framework for black holes, namely in terms of Bose-Einstein condensates of gravitons, the quanta of gravity itself. Remember, gravity is not a force. Gravity is just... Uh, how to say it? How to put it? A part, or... No, it's a small part of electromagnetism. Since it's so much weaker, electro, the electric, electric force is about 10 to the 39th times stronger than gravity. Has been introduced, Florian Kühnel, one of the researchers who carried out the study to fist.org up until our article was published, rotating black holes have not been thoroughly studied within this framework. However, they may not uh, only exist, but also be the rule rather than the exception. Kuhnel and his colleagues Giad Dvali and Michael Sandeci performed several calculations based on existing physics theories, <laughs> particularly the recently devised quantum model of black holes based on Bose-Einstein gravitation condensates. The key goal of their study was to examine rotating black holes on a quantum level, to determine whether they would actually admit warty structures. Since rotating Bose-Einstein condenses have been su subject to intense studies of in laboratories, it is known that they admit warty structures if rotating sufficiently fast, Kuno said. We took this as an invitation to look for those structures also in models for rotating black holes, and indeed found them. Kuno and his colleagues showed that the black hole with Extremal spin can be described as a graviton condensate of with vorticity. This is aligned with the previous study suggesting that extremal black holes are stable against the so-called Hawking evaporation, i.e. a black body radiation that is believed to be released outside of a black hole's outermost surface or event horizon. <laughs> yeah, I have been reading Brian Green and such. I tried to wrap my head around the Elegion universe for years. It didn't make sense at all. So I had to dismiss it. But anyway, in addition, the researchers showed that in the presence of mobile charges, the black hole's overall water traps a magnetic flux of the gauge field, which would lead to signature emissions that could be observed experimentally. 
The terms theoretical predictions could thus open new possibilities for the observation of new types of matter, including millicharged dark matter. <laughs> Vorticity is entirely new characteristic of black holes, which are in the classical level, i.e. if one closes one eyes on their quantum structure, fully characterized by three entities, mass, spin and charge. Kuno said, this is what we learned from textbooks until now. We showed that we need to add vorticity. The team's theorized existence of vortices in black holes offers a possible explanation for the lack of Hawking radiation for maximally rotating black holes. In the future, this theory could thus pave the way for new experimental observations and theoretical conclusions. For instance, Black hole vortex structures could explain the extremely strong magnetic fields emerging from active galactic nuclei in our universe. In addition, they could potentially be at the root of almost all known galactic magnetic fields. We just have recently established the field of black hole vorticity, Kuno added. There is a wealth of importance, important and exciting questions to address. Yes, including concerning those application mentions above. Furthermore, future gravitational wave observations of merging black holes, each containing a vortex of multiple of those, might open the door to these new and exciting quantum aspects of space-time. So, maybe I should send him this link. Because that's known for many years. We are at plasma universe, no plasma, no, 99.999% of the universe, no plasma, uni no universe. We have blood plasma, you wouldn't be if there wouldn't be plasma. Filamentation is often seen in plasmas. It is created because plasma contains free electrons, making it highly electrically conductive, even more than metals, and even in a tenuous cosmic plasmas. As charged particles regularly move in a plasma, a ring of magnetic field forms around the current that can pinch into filamentary current strands, i.e. pinched filaments. Filamentary currents may also be formed alongside double layers, which further accelerate charged particles. And if the resulting electrons approach relativistic ve velocities, i.e. the speed of light, and if they encounter a magnetic field, they will spiral and emit synchrotron radiation. That includes radio, optical, i.e. light, X-rays and gamma rays. Filamentation may also cause chemical separations of elements through Marklut convection. The magnetic fields generated by parallel filaments may cause them to bunch together, though if the filaments are flowing in opposite direction, the filaments will repel each other. Plasma filaments are also called Birkeland currents, field aligned currents, plasma rope, plasma cables, flux ropes, current constrictions, and plasma rays. Hannes Alfen argued that the spontaneous formation of current filaments is a fundamental feature of magnetized plasmas in the laboratory as well as in space. I will put a link below to this as well. You can read those too. Watch at the picture. The bridge went down. And now it seems the old paradigm is crumbling down at the same time since they're admitting stuff they haven't been admitting earlier. This knowledge has been there for tens of years, dozens of years. And if they are like real scientists, they should think really for themselves and gather information from all sources, which includes plasma, electric universe, electromagnetism, Birkeland currents and all these kind of things. They would have figured this out a long time ago. No need to build a CERN machine or whatsoever. Because it's totally unnecessary and a waste of time and money. And nowadays, obviously, very important also, a waste of electricity. 
But anyway, I leave it here. I just thought this article was very interesting to have this kind of vortices emerging out of black holes. And bright black holes, even though they should swallow light and time and whatsoever. <laughs> they are oxymoroning all the way. Now it seems they cannot hide it anymore and they have to admit they're being wrong. And soon they will announce they made a new discovery and they will give it a new name and claim it their own. But they are lying. So stay up to date, think for yourself and stay safe. Or however people used to say nowadays. You don't have to put a like to my videos or whatsoever. It doesn't matter. I make them anyway if I have time to. I'm really busy at the moment with some other stuff. But Thanks for listening. And thanks for those few people out there who are giving every now and then some motivating comments. I really like it. It's very cool. It's nice to have these kind of people out there. It doesn't matter how many you are. The number will probably grow because the truth of how things work will reveal itself. It doesn't have to be defended because it stands on its own feet. It's our job to adjust to it. You cannot bend reality. If you live in a bubble of self-constructed reality, it will burst. And then you have a really hard job to do. But anyway, I leave it here. Thanks. Bye.